Hey, welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to be talking about value added box, which is another topic in uh, ETAX. Yeah, it's the last topic we are looking at. We shall start by defining value added tax, what VAT is. Yeah. VAT is an indirect tax on consumption charged on value added taxable goods and services at different stages in the chain of distribution. That is a definition of VAT. It is indirect. Then it is charged on consumption and then on the value added to taxable goods and services at different stages in the chain of, of distribution. VAT was introduced in Uganda in July 1996 to, re to replace sales tax and commercial transaction levy. That's when it was introduced. Before it was introduced, there was sales tax and then transactions, commercial transactions levy. But when VAT was introduced, it replaced both of them. The law that introduced VAT was the VAT Statute Number no. 8 of 1996 and in 2001. The statute was changed to VAT Act Chapter 349 of the Laws of Uganda. So that is what VAT is all about. It's an indirect tax on consumption, tagged on value added to taxable goods and services at different stages in the chain of distribution. Then let's look at the scope of VAT, what VAT is all about. Yeah. According to Section 4 of the VAT Act, Chapter 349, VAT is levied on First is every taxable supply made by a taxable supplier pays VAT. The person liable to tax is the taxable person making the supply. So every taxable supply every taxable supply made by a taxable person is levied. Like VAT is levied on it. Yeah. Then every import of goods other than an exempt import, it pays VAT. And every supply of imported services other than an exempt service. Yeah, pay VAT. So that is the scope of VAT. It is divided into three. Every taxable supply made by a taxable person, every import of good and service, every import of goods other than an exempt import, and every supply of imported services other than an exempt service. Yeah. For VAT to be levied on a local supply, there are four fundamental conditions that must be satisfied. Conditions that must be satisfied for VAT to be levied on a local supply, and they are defined here. First is that there must be a supply. In order for VAT to be levied, there must be a supply. Then the, the supply must be taxable, the supply must be in Uganda, and the supplier must be taxable too. So those are the conditions that must be satisfied for VAT to be levied on a local supply. There must be a supply, the supply must be taxable, the supply must be in Uganda, and the supplier must be taxable. Yeah, so that was the introduction of VAT. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share with your friends, and watch my next video. I'll be talking about the key definitions in VAT.